Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 117. 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 is 117 because math. And once again, she's left me on the dust. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. Don't worry, I have three pens over here today, so... Yeah, the backup to the backup to the backup. Yes. All right. Well, good. Hello. Welcome to Welcome our YouTube to channel. Welcome to Officially October. Um, this is a YouTube channel about cross-stitch? Yes. And um, thank you for all the um, corrections. Um, we I think do, maybe we've got it clear in our minds what the difference between knitting and crocheting is. Cool. We think. How about this? If you send us something that's either knit or crochet, you tell us what it is. You know, that would help tremendously. It would. Um, also, we do know that October did start on Tuesday. Yes. We knew that by the end of the video. But yes. For those of you who haven't gotten to the end of the video yet. Did people leave comments on last week's video? Of course they did. About that? Of course they I did. I told you people. No, but they didn't get to the end yet. That's not my fault. Well, anyway. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're, we're really, we're very weird today. We're very weird today. It's okay. Uh, we finally got rain here. We did. So, and a little um, bit of cooler temperatures. And a little cooler temperatures. So maybe, possibly, it is finally fall. Maybe. And um, we put up our whole wall. Yes, we did. Stephanie did. Stephanie did. Thank you. Um, our Halloween tree is across the way. Yes. With our very... Um, uh, what do I want to say? I don't know what I want to say. Sparse. Our very sparse ornaments because we have done no ornaments this year. Nope. If you were hoping for new Christmas or Halloween ornaments in 2019. Didn't do a single one. Didn't happen. Nope. And I don't think it's going to happen between now and December 31st. So. <laughs> yeah, nope. Because our, no. our finishers so have deadlines. All of you newer viewers and subscribers yes. are going to get um, a peek at our ornaments. I mean, everyone will get a peek, but if you were here last year, yeah. it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same. So just to tell you. deal with it. Hey, um, I can tell you. Anyway, we hope you had a good week. Yes. We hope that you are uh, looking forward to a great stitching week. Yes. Um, we had a we had a pretty good week. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been pretty quiet around the old homestead, yep. except for Friday. Yep. Which was the first Friday of the month, and on the first Friday of the month, uh, our LNS has a stitch in, which goes from um, the beginning of opening hours at eleven o'clock, mm -hmm. ten or eleven, 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 and goes until about ten o'clock at night. Yes. So I can um, vouch for the fact that we were there twelve hours. Yes. Twelve hours in an LNS. It's a lot. It is a lot. But it was fun. But it was fun. Um, it was busy because it was First Friday. It was also our cookout. It was our cookout, which and was lovely because it was cooler. Much cooler. I took my rocking camp chair from Dick's Sporting Goods, and um, it was lovely. It was. Lots of good food. Yes. Uh, Joe puts the chicken and hot dogs on the grill and everybody brings everything else yeah. and um it, it was, was great it was lots of fun um so thanks everybody so who came out for that thanks for everybody who came mm -hmm. um we had one um nope. surprise guest to me noteworthy visitor. did you know she was coming i did uh oh, yeah. but i uh, well i knew that she was coming but i didn't really know exactly when okay so <clears throat> um we, uh, I had an appointment first thing Monday morning, so I actually did not get to work until about you noon. Mean Friday morning. That's what did I said. No, you said Monday morning. Oh, Friday morning. And so I didn't get to work until about, um, noon-ish. And I walked in and I was so she was happily. Already, she was already there. We'd already chatted and I was like, oh, please, please don't leave before Stephanie gets here. Yes. So we got to meet Robbie. Right. And Robbie was there with her husband. Yes. And Hi, Robbie. Hi, Ed. <laughs> and um, they were in town for a wedding and made sure to stop the keepsakes. And she got a couple things and it was lovely. Yeah. And it was nice to meet her. So this is weird. Yeah. So she was actually in attendance at the Midwest Cross Jersey Retreat last year. Right. 
And somehow we literally never spoke to her. I don't even remember seeing you, Robbie. I mean, I know that you were there, but like, nope. Wow. So, um, Robbie is, uh, best, best friends with right. Julie Gulf Coast Stitches. Right. So if you are not watching Julie, yeah, you um, should. you should be. Yeah. But, um, if you are watching Julie, you'll know that she, um, refers to her best friend, Robbie, and that is a lot. The, and that's the Robbie we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. And so, she, um, it was nice to finally, like, actually have a conversation with Robbie. We're looking forward to seeing, uh, Robbie again in a couple weeks here yeah. when we go to Iowa. At Cross Stitch. So at, at Cross Stitch. At, at Midwest. At Midwest. Uh, yes. so anyway, um, it was a great day at the shop. Yes. Um, uh, we have, uh, aside from that day, um, we've been just going through our daily routine, more or less, yep. uh, with you working. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, Keepsakes had that 20% off sale. This weekend. Um, uh, this weekend as well. Anyway, um, I have two. I have two other things. I want to do oh, these okay. backwards. All right. First things first. Oh, okay. Lisa Kretzer, <laughs> look up now. Yes. Today is Lisa Kretzer's birthday. Yes. And we want to send our happiest birthday wishes yes. to you. Yes. So I'm wearing if my you shirt. Wonder why we're singling Lisa out? Yes. You may remember that we got a. Plastic container of M and M's. Yes. What? Earlier this year. Yep. Before she's gone. In various colors, and they had a oh, lot thanks. of our sayings and our faces on them. Mm -hmm. yes. I think you can get them for like weddings and bridal showers and stuff graduations like that. and stuff. So that's where that came from. Yes. And also, our hundredth episode, we had a banner that went behind us on the wall. We did. Uh. Happy 100 or something like that. Yeah, here's to 100 here's or something. something. Lisa also gave us that. Yeah. So she's a super fan, and yes. we love that, and we've met her um, we, a couple we, of times this year, yes. and we always have a ball with her. We love you, Lisa. Yes, we do. Happy birthday. Yes. And um, we hope to see you again soon. soon. Yes. Soon. All right, and then um, announcements. Um, so it is that time of year. Sorry, I'm writing this down so I don't forget to link it. Okay, so it is that time of year for people to start thinking about what clubs they want to continue if they took part in 2019. They want to still do them in 2020. What clubs they want to sign up for if they're um, interested in some of the clubs that we have talked about here on this channel. So some of the clubs we'll talk about when we get to the promotion section, but this one, um, since we don't have anything necessarily to show for it this week, um, I wanted to just talk about it right off the bat in the beginning and um, get it out of the way. So, uh, if you have watched our channel for any length of time, you know that we are proud members of the uh, Crazy Annie's Picture This Plus Fabric of the Month Club. Right. Um, we took part in it all of this year. We took part in it all of last year. Um, and we love it so much. Um, it's a great way to bump up your Picture This Plus stash. Um, if you are somebody with a small fabric stash or even a large one like us, um, it's always nice because, you know, you, you hear all these same colors all the time, like Legacy and Doubloon and Fog and whatever, whatever. But, this way you get colors in and you're like, I've never heard of this color. It's actually incredibly beautiful. And now it's my stash and I'm lucky. And yay, this is exciting. Plus, who doesn't love a nice package? Just coming to your door for a month. So, um, so it is time for signups for that club once again. So here is the deal. There will be a link in this description box for episode 117. It will also, I will have the link in every description box moving forward until signups are closed so if you sign up for the club through the link in our video which is unique to just us right. your name will automatically be entered into a giveaway so you can win a bonus package that annie is so wonderfully putting together for you um and that way um we, she can track who is signing up for when. So here's the deal. So Annie has talked to Picture This Plus, and they have come to an agreement on the number of pieces of fabric that is reasonable for Annie to handle and reasonable for Picture This Plus to handle. And 
she messaged me this afternoon before we sat down to record, and she told me that as of this afternoon, one-third of the pieces has been called for. Or, like, taken. Spots have been taken. So, it's by pieces, not by number of spots. So, Annie's last update was that she had roughly 200 pieces of fabric left. You can pick whatever you like. It's just like 200 different, 200 pieces of fabric. So like when we signed up for it, we get two pieces of fabric. So a lot of people get more than one piece of fabric. Oh, I see. And okay. so, yeah. Okay. So, um, like I know that some people get two pieces because there is a neutral family and then there's a color family. Okay. So if you are more of a sampler primitive stitcher and you like all those neutrals and things, then maybe you just want one piece of neutral or two pieces of neutral okay. or you can do one color and one neutral which is what we will be doing next year so um all of that information the pricing all the important details you can find through the link in the description box below as soon as we announce it it fills up quickly so please 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 if you are someone who has been thinking about your fabric clubs for 2020 and the picture of this plus fabric of the month club is something that you are interested in. This is your time. So there will be a link in the box below. Like I said, please click on it. If you have any questions about how the club works, any of that stuff, those questions need to be directed to Annie Miller. And I will put, um, her email address in the description box below as well. Um, we're just here to help Annie promote the club and show the pretty fabric that we get and to convince you that it's a club that's worth trying out. Correct. So, um, I don't, don't contact us about anything. Price. Anything. About, about pricing. About the PTP club. Club. fabric club. Yes. Don't contact us. Right. Because we can't answer. It just takes up valuable time in our lives. And we'll, we're just going to direct you to tell Annie anyway. Yeah. We'll so. just take a screenshot of the email and send it on to her, but we don't want to do that. Right. <laughs> This is very true. Yes. yes. So, um, so anyhow, so that information is found in the link below. We will continue to talk about it and we will continue yes. to show you the fabric. Absolutely. Um, and so how she's going to do, um, her wait list is going to be a little different in 2020 as well. So if she has any leftover pieces of fabric for any months in 2020, she's going to put it up for sale in an album on her Facebook page. Okay. So that is all the information that you need to know about the Fabric of the Month Club. Again, please thoroughly read the, when you click on the link, there's a lot of information. Thoroughly read through that. It will answer all of your questions. I know it did it for me. So, um, there you go. We okay. will, we're going to be getting 32 count linen next year. Right. We got 28 count even weave in 18, 32 even weave in 19, and we're going to do 32 count linen in yeah. 2020. I'm more excited about it. So that's good. Yes. All right. Okay. So. And then. <clears throat> we don't have it. Yeah, we do. We don't have the. Oh, yes, you do. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see it. Okay. Pam's pin comment from last week's video. As you know, we, uh, I, uh, read through all the wonderful comments we get on each episode and I find one that uh has a little hook in it or something that you know makes it stand out. Yeah. Uh, our question for the giveaway as you may recall had to do with what is your favorite thing about October. Mm -hmm. And um there were a lot a, there are a lot of birthdays and anniversaries in October. Let True. me just say. Yes. Um, and happy birthday and happy anniversary to everybody out there Everyone. who is glad Oct October is here because of that. Including Lisa Kretzer. Yes, including <laughs> Lisa Kretzer. And so, um, again, uh, best wishes to everybody on that. Uh, the Pam's pin comment, uh, sort of summed it up. Let's yes. just say, uh, it comes to us from Diana Catoni. And five days ago, she wrote, how can one pick just one part of October as my favorite? There are so many. So here goes. The changing of the leaves, the cooler, clear autumn days, Halloween and all of the decorations, 
apples, pumpkins, apple cider, pumpkin pie, apple crisp. And I knew she was from New England when she said apple crisp because oh. that is a New England recipe terminology. What do they call it in other parts of the country? They might call it apple cobbler oh, okay. or something like that. But in New England, it's apple crisp. Okay. And football season is in full swing. Should I say, go Patriots. Yes. Love you. <laughs> yes, you should. Yes, you uh, should. Love your Floss 2 videos. Monday takes on a whole new meaning because of you two. Thanks for what you do. So, welcome, uh, Diana, man. wonderful comment. Thank you very much. I think you summed up October beautifully. Yes. And um, obviously that got my attention for obvious reasons. Yes. All right. Let's talk about stitching, shall we? Okay. What? All right. We're going to talk about whips first. Yes, we are, because that's what we do. Here. Whips, in case you don't know, is an acronym for? referring to works in progress yes. or cross stitch projects that you are currently working on that Correct. aren't finished yet. Correct. <clears throat> so, and so you're going to go first? I sure am. That's All what right. the notes say, don't they, Pam? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So um, I cut mine in my project bags for easy accessibility and organization this week. You're welcome. Okay, so my first project, which I worked on for the beginning of the week, is Happy Halloween from Satsuma Street. And um, I, if you, I think it was in last week's video that I talked about my plan was to do all the blocks that weren't letters, and then I would go into the letters in order. So I got all the blocks done that were not letters, and I even started a block that was a letter. So um, I'm not going to take it out of the Q-snap because it's in here, and I don't want to take it out. So you've seen everything that's behind the Q-snap anyway. So, um, I was able to finish this crow here, which is so cute. The skull and crossbones. I already had that skull though, done though, I think. I was working on it at least, maybe. And I finished the cat. And oh, didn't you do the ghost? Or had you had it? I already had the ghost. Oh, okay. Yes. And so I finished the crow and then the skull and crossbones situation and the cat. And then this is the A, and I just started on that for some reason, and then I put it away. So, I love this. I am so close. Yep. I'm so close. So close. So, I'm hoping it's pretty easy stitching, like, counting-wise. Um, so, this is what I've done. This is, this is a pro tip for you. So, this is a full-size chart, right? And when I'm sitting, like, at home, it's fine to look at. Um, I mean, I have to, like, glance over and stuff. But it's not small enough that I can, like, just clip this, like, onto even my chart holder that I have. So what I've done is I make a working copy, and then I cut out the box that I'm working on. And then I put a little... Ma yes, I'm showing the pattern, but you can't switch a whole thing off this. So then I put my needle minder like right here and it works perfect yeah. so yeah. that's my pro tip I've, for this I've kind of done that occasionally not routinely but occasionally i've done that well it really works for this since right everything is good in. use of your needle minder too oh, thank it'll you. hold your needle in your little section of your chart it sure does up in the corner it most definitely does cool okay it's looking beautifully well you know thank you pam okay so then i had two new starts this week remember last week i was like i can't figure out what i want to start because I was just more or less waiting for this to happen. So, if you've watched our channel for any time since May, then you know that me and Kia B, or Kia, I just call her Kia, I don't call her Kia B, maybe I should, um, are super, super, super good friends. And um, we just connected in more ways than one, and it was a much welcome friendship that I was not expecting and probably don't deserve, but she is amazing. So she had, um, and if you watched our Galleria recap video, then you saw that I picked up a chart for her and I didn't pick it up for just her. I also picked one up for me and it is called Friendship Garden by uh, Heart and Hands. 
And it says, a friend overlooks your broken fence and admires the flowers in your garden. And it's so, so cute. Um, I love this very much. And so I got it for her. So I got her the chart and then I actually kitted it all up for her and sent it to her. And it was a surprise and it was really awesome. And then, um, I kitted mine up as well. And I was like, whenever you want to start it, we're going to start it. And it'll be a friendship style for you and I. And so Kia and I are stitching this together and it's awesome. Uh, this chart is Side note, is not readily available. Um, it is only available at this time through Silver Needle. So I will put Silver Needle information um, down below. Um, and it was from their um, circle summer of, retreat, wasn't it? Yes, it was from their summer retreat, but it was also from the A Little Help from Our Friends Sticking oh, Circle. Oh, Stitching Club that yes. Silver Needle does. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and so I am stitching mine on with all the colorful colors which is all class color works on 32 count sampler gold linen from color and cotton Ooh. and this was your first time using color and cotton fabric right it is and it's beautiful thank you so um at the end was the very middle of the chart so i just like counted up and did the leaves and stuff There we go. Much better. So, this is going to be fun. And I got my Kia needle winder here. So, I love this fabric, people. Buy color and cotton fabric. It's magical. Yep. It's magical. Beautiful. Thank you. And I think I just saw Kia post a picture of her start on Instagram. Um, so. she posted this. Oh, that's right. It was the other one. Sorry. Yeah. Duh, never the, mind. the other one that I'm talking about yeah. is, um, Snow Village. So, um, back in August, I saw on Instagram a post from Country Cottage Needle Works about a new series called Snow Village that it was going to come out, um, middle end of September and it was super cute and literally like as soon as I saw it I got a text from Kia that was like did you see this it's so cute and I was like yes it's so cute and um she was like I want to do a stitch along with everybody and I was like okay I'm on board and so Kia is hosting a stitch along for Snow Village the hashtag is hashtag Kia B B E E Snow Village Sal. So I'll put the hashtag below so you can use that too if you would like to stitch along with her and with me and with everybody else that's stitching it. Um, and so the how it works is it's an 11 part series. Um, the first chart has been released and so it's much like every other glitter house, glitter village, um, Jack Frost Tree Farm, any of those kind of series from Little House. Needleworks and Country Cottage Needleworks it works very similar to that. And so chart one is called Snow Village Banner. And it is um, longer than uh, all the other ones in the series. But it's super cute. So if you were, you can stitch these all on one big piece of fabric or you can stitch them individually. I will be stitching them individually. Um, I kind of envision them like up on the mantle or on top of the entertainment center as like an actual. Well, I'm going to stitch some of them, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're going to stitch five or six and I'm going to stitch five or six. Sounds good. So um, that way we can do them together. Okay. So, because we both want to stitch them, but there's no point in us having two villages in one house. Correct. So, um, so yeah. So, I started this on Friday night after I got home from Keepsakes and worked on it all day yesterday and then just a little bit today. Um, I'm stitching mine with all the, ow, all the called for fibers and threads and all of, and it's on the called for fabric, which is 32 count linen by Weichel in the colorway Country French Rain. Wow. And it is. That's pretty. I've never heard of that. Beautiful. So I got my little family. They look so cute. I love the little holly berries in the girls' heads. 
They're a little blind family right now because the the eyes are um, French knots. <laughs> That's terrible. I know. But it is true. It's also true. They're eyeless. They're eyeless, yes. So they will have little eyes and buttons down the front of them when um, we get to that part. Um, Pam will be doing all of my French knots. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Um, and the white is B5200 and... Um, really pops on that fabric on the blue yeah it looks really good looks awesome so um again it is hashtag kia b snow village sale if you are interested in joining us we would love that um we uh side note of business if you are in the auto ship program through keepsakes thank you so much we got a huge influx of uh joiners to the club uh this week so that's awesome and um we are still taking new people if you want to join um just give keep six a call um we do have an auto ship program at keep six set up for that program so that is that right okay so uh what have you been working on, to on me. pam whips um i've been kind of doing uh alternate days on a couple of projects that are calling to me right now um, I still have my wheels. Don't worry. The wheels are still in there. The wheels have not fallen off the bus. They have not fallen off the bus or the phone or anything like that. But right. I'm kind of, I'm kind of into both of these. And so I do one day on this. She really and, is. And, um, this is where I am so far on Little House Needleworks, uh, Early Americans. And as I'm you can see, I started up. In the top left corner with the gold star because the gold star is part of the border that was designed by Vanna Pfeiffer and I do plan to do the complete border I'm thinking that once I get done with um, Martha Washington which is the square here so this is Mount Vernon mm -hmm. it's a big um, old house. then I'm gonna go and do the border above and to oh, the, the sides top. of these three because I don't want to get to the end and have that and big have border. just the border to just plug along at. Yeah, but I finished um I John finished Hancock. John Hancock uh after we got back from the Wizard of Oz festival. Mm -hmm. He's and so then I started pretty much uh Martha Washington at Keepsakes Is Friday. That a little bird sitting on the seventeen. Yeah. That's it's a bird. cute and um, I uh, so plugged away at the upper story, and but at stitchings you don't really you don't really stitch much, no. um, and I can stitch at home, you know. So it's not like some people who That's only get to, to stitch, stitch at a stitch in. Mm -hmm. I um, can't imagine mm -hmm. uh, not being able to stitch at home. But people have lives. I'm not gonna let you stitch for us today, Pam. <laughs> people. People have lives, and I don't. <laughs> yes, you do, Pam. I'm your life. Well, you know, so anyway, there's the beginning of... It looks really good. Mount Washington. I made one Mount little... Mount Vernon? Mount Vernon, not Mount Washington. Mount Washington. <laughs> we all know. It's not Mount Washington. Um, I made one little, little teeny tiny change, and that was oh, the color that? of the bird's beak. Um, oh, If really? I used the call for color, it didn't show up very well. So I wanted him to have a yellow beak. So I put a yellow beak Look in Look at him. you. One little stitch change. So that's where I am with Early Americans. What? And I will get back to that tomorrow, I think. Are we not spinning <coughs> wheels while we travel? I don't know. I'm not going to say one way or another. Okay. Um, the other... Um, project that I've Whip. been working on, WIP that I've been working on, mm -hmm. and um, if you're new here, let me bring you up to speed on this. Um, as you will hear <coughs> later, we um, help a designer in the Netherlands uh, promote their patterns mm -hmm. to our viewership, and um, as kind of a very thoughtful gift, uh, they designed a chart just for me, mm -hmm. and it's called Pam's Maine. And it's by Nerd and Camber from Twin Peak Primitives. And it depicts three main lighthouses. And there is a, there is a full alphabet that you can personalize this if you are interested. Um, 
we are doing, I decided I would like to do this as a sal. Uh -huh. So uh, there are hashtags that will include for um, the sal. Um, this is a pretty long running sal. Yes. It goes from any time now to uh, my birthday next June in 2020, which is my 65th. Woo! Woo! And um, we have lots of fun things in in play, in mind, to conclude the sale yes. um, in Maine in June. Yes. And um, we hope those all come to fruition. That would be so cool. In any event, also there is a Facebook group that Stephanie set up for me called Pam's Maine Sal. Yes. And um, as of a few minutes ago, there are 35 of us. I haven't asked you the last couple of days because I was Yeah, there are today. 35 of us in the yeah, Sal. Yeah, buddy. So um, there's a couple of very innocuous questions to get into the group if you want to um, share your pictures and so forth. Yeah. Um, there are uh, all kinds of choices regarding fabric and cloth. Um, in fact, um, fabric and cloth. any fabric and cloth. No, fabric and um, Thread. and threats is what yes. I meant to say. Um, and so it's been fun to see it. If you're on Instagram, you can follow the hashtag. Yep. If you're on Facebook, um, ask to join the group. Yes. Um, you can still buy the chart from the oh, twins yeah. and, of course, all the usual sources for that. It mm -hmm. is um, available wholesale, so you can ask your shop to get it Keep as well. Keepsakes has copies, too. And Keepsakes has copies, too. So I um, wanted to bring you up to speed on that. Um, and... This is where I am so far. Uh, this is the middle lighthouse, which is West Quaddy Had Lighthouse. And it looks so good. The man. whole lighthouse itself is down to the grass, which is. So you know, the lighthouse on that one is so done. So the lighthouse is done. I'm working on the actual house part mm -hmm. of the light. Gotcha. And. Um, oh, okay. That's why. Okay. And this is um, the middle block. I'm sort of shooting to have the middle block done before we go to the Netherlands, and more about that in a minute, uh, so that I have something to show the twins. I think you can do that. And I, I'm feeling more confident now, knowing that right down here is the ground. So there's going to be some landscape mm -hmm. design at the bottom, and... Um, yeah, you know, I think you so can do that. I, I'm, For sure. I'm really getting into it. I'm doing mine on kind of a sky blue fabric. It's mm -hmm. an even weave. I don't remember it was in my stash. I'm doing it on 28, so it's going to be pretty damn big. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Um, I also wanted to show people that um, this has been <laughs> the first experiment that I'm doing on my tablet with a PDF. And so um, it's been really helpful to be able to download PDFs to a tablet. That way you can sort of with your fingers, you can um, make it bigger, smaller, etc. I'm not doing this well um, like that. And really what, make it um, easy app to do you use. Um, it's called Exodo, X-O-D-O. -O. And um, it's an app that our friend Melissa Cupcake Stitcher recommended to me, and um, I'm probably not using all the functionality of it yet, but we're going to see her um, Next week. this week coming up, and I'm hoping to have a little um, time with her. One-on-one. A one-on-one, -on -one, if you will, with so Melissa. that I'm making sure I'm taking full advantage of the app. Yeah. But this is the first time. I've been to lots of retreats where I've walked around and seen people looking at charts on their tablet, and I've thought, that's really cool. Mm. So um, I'm really glad to um, really glad to be actually doing it. We're keeping you up. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> also, um, I have one more small before the end of the year to make for a secret exchange. Sure do I. And um, I, I need to get started on that, but I haven't. I've got it kitted up, and that's as far as that goes. Pull so, together, um, we have a back from the finisher to show. We Stephanie sure do. does. We sure do. I got very excited because I gave this to Jan, and I didn't think I'd have it back this quickly, but I do because Jan is a genius. So, this is uh, 
from Plum Street Samplers, and it is Sampler Lessons, Serial Bowl Collection of Sampler Lessons, Sampler Lesson 4. It's one of the newest ones. And this is your finished. And so she had some chenille that she used uh, on the sides and around it. And then look at the wall on the back. Isn't that neat? Isn't it so pretty? Yeah. Yes. I love this. And it says, be you to others kind and true as you would have others be to you. And I love that sentiment. And I love that this is stitch. And so it will hang out at Keepsakes for a little while. And then um, I will probably bring it home in November. So if you want to come see it, you're welcome to do that. This is stitched on 32 count uh, linen by Lakeside Linens uh, Pecan Butter. So, um, which unfortunately we do not have at Keepsakes. I got this in another shop. But um, we have tons of stuff that are similar to color sure. wise. So thank you so much, Jan Calvert. Um, if you need a finisher if you don't want to sew like we don't want to sew because i'm gonna stitch instead and you have things that you want to be made into pillows that are extremely well sewn and like very well stuffed and just really well done and reasonably priced you are more than welcome to contact keepsakes um we do do mail order finishing services so um the deadline for keepsakes finishing services for christmas guaranteed christmas delivery is november 1st so um if you want to send us your christmas ornaments and have our finishers make you pretty things like this then get it together give us a call and we will tell you how to make that happen right okay yeah super job thank you jan we are so fortunate we love you all right, want to talk about deals next? Sure. All, All right. right, so here is the deal. Um, so first and foremost, um, the Color and Cotton Thread of the Month Club. Um, at this point, we are just now where we are just showing you when they come in um, because there are no more spots available for 2019. If you are interested in seeing what leftover packages Annie has from any of the clubs that we show, please go to her Facebook page, Crazy Annie's Crazy Stitchers on Facebook, and um, you can check out her posting there. For 2020, Annie will be doing two more thread clubs. Um, she will not be doing color and cotton. She'll be doing sulky threads and classic color works. Um, and so if you are interested in either of those clubs, we will not be partaking in either of them. Um, but if you want more information on them when signups come out and all that kind of stuff, um, please make sure that you are a member of her Facebook group for more information on that. Uh, yep. And then the next is the So Much to Love Project Bag of the Month Club. So, it's time to sign up, people. So, I have the link for the sign up for the So Much to Love Project Bag of the Month Club for 2020. Uh, obviously, so excited. Um, and basically, if you like, We've said all video if you're new here. Um, so Much Love is a wonderfully run brand by Karen Torres. And she is out in Idaho. She makes beautifully handmade bags, which is like the most perfect everything. And um, her Etsy shop is also linked in our description box below. Um, and so every month you get a bag that is not just beautifully made and exclusive to the club, but... It is also filled with goodies that go along with that particular bag. So, like, one month we got a bee theme bag with, like, bee stuff inside. And then, like, for Valentine's Day we got, like, little hearts and, like, little thing. It, it all makes sense. I'm terrible at explaining it when I don't have something to show you. But it is an amazing club. It is totally worth the money. I promise you that. Um, if you have a project bag collecting problem like I do, and by problem you mean you can't stop buying them, this is a club for you. So, um, this club does fill up quickly, um, especially after we announce that it's open. So, um, we will provide a link in the description box below, um, just like we did last year. So, that link will only be there until the club is full. And then, when the club is full, the club is full. Right. So, do not delay. Sign up today. 
And I'm really happy I came up with that. Um, you didn't, but I don't, it sounded I didn't. good. I know. Thank you. Um, and so we are so looking forward to getting our October bag and our November bag and our January bag or December bag and then 12 more next year. Right. So, um, sign up for that. Right. And then our last promotion is uh, Twin Peak Primitives. Right. And these lovely ladies, as Pam mentioned before, they are the designers behind Twin Peak Primitives. And they live in the Netherlands. And uh, so, we've been working with them for over a year and a half now at this point. So, the first part, first fold of promotion with them is that we pick a pattern of the week. So we look there, through their collection, find one that we love that we think that you will love too. And then we tell the quins, they say, okay, and they make it 15% off. Sometimes they say, yippee. <laughs> okay. Yippee. Cool. Fantastic. You got it. Whatever. Um, and then they make it 15% off for all of our viewers. All right. So, so this hold week's... on. Oh, I haven't told him where to get it yet. You can come back up to him. Come on. Okay. If you want to purchase your pattern of the week, there are three, there are two, three possible ways you can do it. One, Twin P Primitives Etsy shop. Two, Twin P Primitives website, which are both PDF downloads. The third place, if you want a hard copy of your pattern of the week, um, which is totally cool, then you can do that through Beach Cottage Stitchers. All of those places are linked below. Right. Okay. So, our pattern of the week for this week is... Pam. Snowmakers is the weekly promo pattern of the week. Yes. It is 15% off if you mention Pam and Steph mm -hmm. until the next video. Yes. So, we're going to insert a picture of snowmakers here. Here. We thought that was very cleverly designed and a good yes. one because, seriously, after the 1st of October, the holidays are on, man. They are on. They are on. Yes. And then uh, the second thing we want to tell you about, it is the final days. To the final days. To final days. Final days. <laughs> to end. <laughs> Don't delay. Sign up today. Um, it, the final days to Enter to purchase your copy of Tracking the Seasons, and that purchase puts you on the list to potentially win a all-expenses-paid trip with us to the Netherlands this upcoming December. So we will be picking a winner at the end of October. Um, if you want more information on this amazing trip, please read our description box below um, for all of the details. You can purchase your copy of Tracking the Seasons as a digital download um, from Twin Peak Primitives Etsy shop, Twin Peak Primitives Facebook page, or a hard copy from Beach Cottage Stitchers. All you got to do is buy it. Right. It's like 20 bucks. Yes. 20 bucks. So you purchase the chart and your name goes on the list. Right. If you purchase the chart somewhere else, like from Keepsakes or your local needle workshop, that is obviously fine with us. We just need to know that they just need to know that you purchased it. Right. So how you do that is you take a picture of your chart, you post it to social media, either on Instagram or the Twin Peak Primitives business Facebook page. Right. Using the hashtag Dutch Mania, hashtag D-U-T-C-H-M-A-Y-N-I-A. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. And we are picking um, a winner at the end of October. If you are in the running, I would certainly suggest that you make sure your passport is current. Um, another thing that I just saw in the news, have you seen this? That you have to have a driver's license or an official ID, government issued ID that has a star on it. To do what? To get on a plane. Um, to go anywhere or to Europe? I think it's going to officially be official in a year, <laughs> oh. but it's something good to be aware of. You just scared everybody for 30 well, seconds. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know. It's okay. That's why I don't watch the news. It's scary. Yeah, true. Um, anyway, uh, so that takes care of deals. Yep. That means it's time for mail call. All right. Okay. What came in the mail this week? Talk about that first. We got a lovely card. You got from, a lovely card. This, okay. was, this was just for you, Pam. Oh, it just was for me? Yes. Yeah, um, look at this card. Look at this card, you guys. 
It's so pretty. Is that not adorable? But she actually left the card blank so you could use it for something else. I know. She's just a, with with envelope. Look with the with anchors, anchors on it and an anchor on the corner. So man, Here, give me this card, is from give me Trixie. Envelope. Give me the envelope. This is from Trixie, and um, she uh, has been making cards for a while and bought a kit. Um, I guess that's what card makers do. They get kits. And, um, we don't know. Yeah, because that's another thing we don't do. We don't sew, we don't knit, we don't crochet, and we don't make cards. Correct. Um, that, uh, you use to make, um, a nautical set of cards. And they come in this adorable set of boxes. And, um, you take them out and show them. Yeah. So we got four boxes like this. Mm -hmm. And, the cards are just amazingly, Darling. amazingly cute. Here's one. Look at that. Oh, thank you card. It's super cute. Here's a thank you. And like, it's I got love, the... love, love this oh, one. Whoop. Yeah, matching coordinated. Look at this. You're a lifesaver. Oh my gosh, that's freaking cute. Isn't that adorable? And then this one. And a little anchor paper on the back. Has a lighthouse on it. Oh, no, it does not. Yes, it does. And it says thanks Aww. with a little piece of twine twine on it. And then there's this one. It says many thanks. Love that. Many thanks. And woo Okay, we'll get those later. And then this one. So there's, I think, six in each box. Five. Five? Yep. And this one says just for you. So cute. Just for you. So, Trixie. yeah, so we have from Trixie, and she messaged me, and she said, would you want these? They're kind of nautical. Oh, uh, yeah. Do. Four. Four boxes of these little gems. Thank you so much, Trixie. I love these. Yes. I absolutely do love these. I'm going to try to get this. Okay. Because I'm you afraid that. Well, while you try to get it, then it's I'll... It's already here. Oh, man. It's already here. Okay. And look, she even wrapped it in this beautiful nautical tissue paper, which we might save. We might. Okay. Oh, here's her letter that fell, too. Oh, man. Okay. Pull it together over here. Adorable. So Just cute. Adorable. Yeah. So cute. All right. So... Thanks, Trixie. Really. Yes. Thank you, Trixie. Um, okay. So I have the rest of the mail call over here. Okay. We got a package that we did not know was coming, mm -mm. but we got a package from our friend and yours, uh, Amanda May at Ardith, Ardith Design. Um, she sent um, some goodies. So oh, man. she sent this really, really pretty card with a very sweet note. We didn't Thank know you. this was coming. We did not. And so first and foremost, she sent us two copies of her newest chart, Boobies Apiary. Um, and so she sent a copy for us and a copy for you. And so we will be using these. Um, we have surpassed our 8,000 subscriber count. And so when we come back from both of our retreats this month, we will be doing um, our big, big giveaway for that. Yeah. So uh, one of these charts will be in one of the packages that is for the giveaway. Right. Okay. Let me put right. that over there. All right. Right. So super, super cute. Um, right. But the biggest reason why she wanted to send at least me this part of the package was she had received, gotten this book and she saw it and she said that she needed to send it to me because of our upcoming trip. So is it pronounced the Zahn Mills? I would say so. So this is the Zahn Mills, a unique story. And so... Story time with Steph. This book is about mills in the Zahn district. Um, these were special mills because they were used to process raw. This is the Zahn district in Amsterdam. Um, these were special mills because they were used to process raw materials into products on a large scale. Um, you know, we, we think of windmills in the Netherlands and we think they're just, I mean, I'll admit it. I'll take it for the team. We think they're just ornamental. Yeah. They're mills. Right. They process things. Yes. So it says the mills of the Zahn district significantly contributed to the rise of the Netherlands in the Golden Age. 
fed on Zon rusk and sailing with ships made from timber sawn in the Zon district. The Dutch East India Company and the West India Company. You've heard of those. Yes. You know, American history. Conquered the world's seas. The Zon district became the most important supplier for expanding for the for the expanding city of Amsterdam. This book relates the history of the mills that created land from water and of a country that became a world power due to wind power, ingenuity, and entrepreneurship. The industrial mills of the Zon district played a pivotal role in this history and made the Netherlands to what it presently is. You know, is. if you know anything about world history, we forget that the Netherlands was a a very powerful and influence influential country for sure in the 16th century 15th, 17th century we forget about that we think of you know yeah so and, very, the, and the, the, the the pictures in this book are amazing it it's incredible yeah i love this yeah one. that's a beautiful picture isn't it hey can we see some windmills when we come <laughs> I really want to. Yeah. So, um, I think. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool one. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell we're getting excited? Yes, we're getting very, very excited. Yeah, we're trying to educate ourselves a little bit. A little bit, so we don't look like dumb American. Oh, that's cool. Dumb American tourists. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we're very excited. It's going to be grand. Um, I might bring this on the plane as some light reading. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. It's going to be cool. Yeah, you guys. I know that there are people out there that love our, um, and then they also provide a map. Look at that! Look at that! That's cool. Um, that's amazing. People that like our photo montages at the end with our music, um, that will be quite a long one when we return from the Netherlands. <laughs> no kidding. No um, kidding. so thank you so much, Amanda. That was very sweet. Of well, me to think she of wasn't me. done. I know. She sent me um something, but uh, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to show you her note. It's cute. It's a catalog card. Like a library thing. I mean, seriously. It's so cute. Catalog card. Because um, Pam was a librarian. Let me know where you got these, girlfriend, because I need a bunch of these. Yes, they're cute. So cute. Cute little cute little uh, catalog card. And, um, you have the cutest handwriting. Yes. Yes, you do. And then look. She found this fabric, you guys. What is this, a whole yard or a half a yard? I don't know. I don't know, but it's Moda. But there's a lot of fabric there. Yeah, there's a lot. It might be a full yard. I think it might be. Okay. Moda. Move your arm. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! So cute. Look at that fabric. It's so cute. Oh my god. There's, we got crabs, we got we, lobsters, we, we got, got swordfish, we got, we got lighthouses, everything. we got we boats, got everything. we, we got, got everything. nautical so, stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to think very seriously about we're gonna, what we're going to have made with this fabric. Um, you can next, you can chances quote? are it'll be a project bag situation, as yes. Stephanie always says, yes. a situation. Project bag situation. Uh, I think there's enough here to make a bigger one. So Ooh. I'm going to talk to... I'm going to talk to Jan. I might talk to uh, her about what her ideas are. Mm -hmm. But this is awesome fabric. Yeah, it's really great. This is awesome fabric. And, and you I'm, can tell it's high quality, uh, too. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This stuff, it just... It's very good. nice. Very nice. A nice feel to it. So thank you, Amanda May. Of course, we love you. Yes. And, um, so, uh, oh, what stuff. else? Have more stuff. Okay. So... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we got a, a card from, or a package from Rachel. Rachel is in Canada. She is so, so sweet. And she sent us this really cool card. Oh, maybe you'll see that. <laughs> Look, it looks like a sparkler. You're a spark of goodness that brightens the world. That's all. Apparently. Rachel thinks so, and that's good enough for me. Okay. So she has been um, doing a little bit of sewing. Yep. And these are uh, the third and fourth project bags that she has ever made. That she's ever made. And you know what? I think they're great. I think so, too. So um, this is what mine looks like. Isn't that cute? With this little Christmas village situation happening. See what I mean about the situation? 
And then, okay. So there are a lot of project bag makers out there in the world, right? At this point in time, from my knowledge, Rachel didn't mention in her card, she's not selling her bags on Etsy no, or anywhere yet. No. So if she is, I hope that Rachel will let us know and then we can let you know. Um, but I'm all about what makes something unique, right? So Rachel has included on the zipper poles these clear plastic kind of envelope things. So they're vinyl front, see? And you can stick in here a piece of paper that says what the project is because it's not a vinyl front bag, right? So that way you don't have to unzip. You just look at the tag, yeah. which I think is a pretty cool idea. Absolutely. And then this is what the inside looks like. So cute. And, um, and then obviously the back is more Christmas Village, which is, I love this fabric. So this is the one I chose, Rachel. Yes. And I was happy to choose this one with all the mittens and hats and on the inside it has pretty snowflakes pretty and it also has the project name pouch out of the snowflake and super cute blue Really cool idea. And very cool idea, Rachel. Thank you very much. Your sewing yeah. is lovely. It is. Keep at it, girl. Yes, ma'am. Right. All right. And the last. Yeah. That would be a disaster if I spilled the dew. Okay. The last piece of mail that we got was from Jenny. All right. So, uh, Jenny is charm city clarinet on instagram and youtube right and she sent us this cute little halloween card she is a clarinet player she is which of which we, we both, both were, were. Yes. So that's cool um so uh, let me write that down and most of her instagram feed is uh clarinet playing related yes this is true so jenny lives in maryland and she sent us a box full of maryland items yes so including a bag of the crab chip potato chips can't wait to try those, I'm excited about those. probably later okay um old bay yep of course the and then these, they're called burger cookies, not B-U-B-E. Ooh, that's dessert tonight. Yes, and they're called chocolate creams. Ooh, baby. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then she also sent us some charts. So there are some And char kits. Lots of kits. Yeah, so some charts and kits and things. Right. And so um, we will go through these and some we will pull out for our giveaway. Um, our 8,000 subscriber giveaway. Absolutely. And some will keep. And then some right. we will uh, give Thank up. you very much. Yes. Um, that was, Thanks, again, Jenny. not expected at all. Um, and a, quite a big... Um, it was a big box. It was a big box. Yes. Yes, it was. All right. So, let's all right. talk haul. You go. Yeah, we got a little bit of haul. Very little. You want to go first? Nope. You. Oh, okay. Well, um Stephanie, of course, um, knows my taste, and she brought home a couple of Paulettes that I absolutely, releases. these are brand new from Plum Street Samplers, um, and I love them both. Uh, this is Bless Our Land. So cute. Bless Our Land. <clears throat> love the long flag at the top, and I love the blue house, and that blue house is... Rain shower. Uh, rain shower. So, bless our land. Love that. And this one, and we had a big discussion about this at the shop Friday. This is called Goody Grimwood. Oh, you had a big discussion about that? We did. That. Because we were trying to remember from our history <laughs> where the name Goody came from. And so, a little bit of Googling, and we were educated to the extent that... Um, what are you looking at? Seeing if there was any notes about it in there. In the uh, no, okay. because um, we looked, or yeah, there was some at the table, mm -hmm. and yeah. it wasn't readily apparent from any on the table. Um, 
see her up there on the red bird? That's what everybody loves. Yes. She's riding the red bird I up love there. It. And I love the colors and the shape of the houses. Anyway, um, you may remember from, I don't know, what, Scarlet Letters, Salem, Salem Stories? I don't know. Um, but Goody was a formal uh, la, 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 notation in front of a married woman's last name. Huh. So That's you might be uh, thinking in terms of... Um, Mrs. Hamilton. Um, it would be Goody Hamilton. That's fascinating. I did not know that. Right. So um, that is where she got the Goody. What is it? Goody Grimwood. Goody Grimwood. Isn't that cool? Mrs. Grimwood. Yeah. So it, she's. It's a formal address for a married woman, and attached to her last hmm. name like a Mrs. Interesting. So, um, those were my two basically personal shopped I mean, by Stephanie. So, I also got one of Paulette's newest releases. Newer, yeah, newest releases. And this is... Huh. <laughs> no, I just noticed that her daughter models said shit. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Um, this is uh, Clementine. And I love that cat. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And I love the white pumpkin it sits on. Mm -hmm. So cute. And, okay, so Keepsakes had their 20% off sale. So, um, luckily, I also timed things correctly. So, new releases would be at the shop. So, um, I am getting all the parts to the Lucky 13 series. So, I got number 5, which is just Lucky 13 Part 5, Frankenstein. And then Lucky 13 Part 6, which is the mummy. And then... Those are so cute. Aren't they cute? And you get the... And the pictures really don't do them no, justice they at all. No. At all, at all. And then... Okay, what I want to show next. So, then I got the... I got two of the new Heart and Hand releases. Um, this is the last... Yep, the last. The last three. It, last three installment of Squidits from Cecilia Turner, Heart and Hand. So, I love those owls. They're love those owls. so cute. Yeah. Um, I really love the pineapples and the ornaments. I like them all. Yeah. So, uh, knocked it out of the park again, Cecilia, with that one. Absolutely. And then I had to. I just could not help myself. Oh, yeah. With the winter whirly gig because, like, look at that freaking cardinal. I can't. Yeah. I remember I saw this model at market in March, and I was like, I cannot wait until this is released. I love the tall, fat cardinal, and I love the long carrot nose on the snowman. Yep. Uh, Too funny. Too funny. So cute and quirky. I love it. Yeah. And then the last thing I purchased, um, I saw these models at Galleria. Um, if you watched my little tour video thing on Instagram, then you probably saw these. Um, and this is from Hands On Design, and this is Cranberry Christmas. And the pictures, to me, don't really do them justice. Um, they're beautiful, especially that large pillow is gorgeous in person. Um, it does, there is a um, sulky thread pack that she used for these. Um, however, I decided to kit mine up using Classic Colorworks. So I just trade out every sulky for Classic Colorworks. And when I get around to stitching them, then I will share my conversion with everyone. If, or with anyone who is interested. Right. My chair is empty. So, so is mine. So, All right, so that's let's, all. So it's time for um, our giveaway. Uh, announcement of the winner of the giveaway from last week. Yes. And it was... Um, I took a video. Yeah, I know. But oh, okay. Just, yeah. So this was the giveaway, and this is from, and I think it's Paula. Right. Uh, Paula at Northwest. I wrote it down, but I didn't write it down. Uh, Northwest. So do you, do you say it in the video? I do say it in the video. All right, then let's just play the video, yeah. shall okay. we? Yeah. Okay, so like we have done in past giveaways, I know we have Sorry, haven't... I didn't mean to put you on the spot. That's okay. Um, I, like we've done in previous giveaways, I recorded a video of myself 
picking a winner for this right. lovely giveaway. What is inside this box is two beautifully handmade scissor fobs. Right. And um, the scissor fobs, we showed the gifts that Paula had sent us last week um, that were from her Etsy shop as well. And um, the scissor fobs are made out of Swarovski crystals. Yes. So if you didn't see the ones she gave us last week, go back and watch. Because they're amazing. Because they're amazing. And I don't think we realized that they were made out of Swarovski no, crystals. definitely do not. I'm not saying that right. Swarovski? Maybe that's better. Okay, it's N.W. Glimmer Designs. N.W. Glimmer yes, Designs. Yes, like Northwest Glimmer Designs. Okay, so let's run the video. Are okay. you ready? Yes, yeah, so I'll insert the video of me picking a winner right. here. Here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's giveaway portion of the program. We are giving away this lovely box with uh, some beautiful scissor fobs inside for you. And um, we asked you all a question. And the question was, what is your favorite thing about October? So we're going to do the YouTube random comment picker like we usually do. Okay. Oh, let's see how many comments we have. Oh, 369 commenters. Holy banana pants. All right, let's go. Kathy Rudder. My October favorites are cooler weather, snuggly sweaters, changing leaves, apples, cider, and pumpkins. Well, Kathy, I could not agree more. Kathy, please send your mailing address to Pam's email address listed in the description box below, and we will get this mailed out to you. Thank you guys so, so much for all your wonderful comments. Finally, October is here, and let's all celebrate my all with all of our favorite things. All right, I will send you all back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye. Okay. So first and foremost, congrats to Kathy. Yes. And um, so Kathy, please um send Pam an email with your mailing address. Right. And um, if we are leaving on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, so. Morning. If we hear from you right away, it'll go out before we leave. Before we leave. But if not, if not, then we'll, we'll hear wait. from you hopefully by the time we get back. Yes. And we'll mail it before we head out on the trip that comes right after. Correct. So we'll be checking. Yes, we will. We'll oh, absolutely. Checking. Absolutely. So congratulations, Kathy. That's a really unique giveaway this yes. time. And uh, we're happy that you won it. Yes. And thank you so much to Paul. And thanks for everybody for entering. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So our plans for this wow. week. Wow. We have plans like plans, plans. Wow. So um, if you have been with us since this time last year, you know that we went on a very special trip last year um, and we are doing it again. Um, so the, we have our crock pot crew, uh, also our whistle stop crew. It is Pam and I and eight other exceptionally, fantastically wonderful women that all live here local-ish. There's two of them that live sort of northern, but that's fine too. Um, they might as well live here. It's cool. Um, and so we all get together as much as we possibly can, usually about once a month for a crockpot Friday at our house. And then, um, this will be the second year that we are going to go down to Sweetwater, Tennessee, and we are staying for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So four and a half days um at the whistle stop quilt retreat so it's called whistle stop quilt retreat but it basically is a beautiful old farmhouse that you can rent out and there are places and tables for sewing machines but you don't need to have a sewing machine to go um so um this particular farmhouse is owned and operated by Jennifer, who is on FlossTube as the Whistle Stop Stitcher. So um, I will link her FlossTube channel and the Whistle Stop Quilt Retreat website below if that if any of this sounds exciting to you and you would like to get your group of friends together to do that with them. 
Um, and so this is the second year that we're going. We're so excited. We, we added, added an extra day this we year. We added an extra day. Yes. And our 10th person who had to bow out at the last minute last year is going. Yes. Uh, two other members of our crew mm -hmm. have had major mother health issues and it looked like they weren't going to go but as moms do mm -hmm. the moms are insisting that they go to tennessee with us so we are we are very excited yes we're so excited we can't wait we leave wednesday morning in three cars it will be glorious yeah last year we rented a 15 passenger van which was good it all worked out fine but but I don't want to roll the dice two years in a row driving myself, my daughter, and eight of my closest friends right. in one vehicle. God forbid something should happen. Correct. We were lucky last year, and yeah. um, this year we just <clears throat> decided we would cut down the expense a little bit and just kind of caravan down there in three cars. Yeah. So, so that's we are leaving uh, Wednesday morning, yep. and um, we uh, did a uh, cut through. White Elephant, Steal Away, Gift yes. uh, Smalls Exchange. We will repeat that this year. Yes, we will. And um, we divvy up the meals. It's a fully equipped, fully equipped plus situation. kitchen situation. Mm -hmm. We cook our own meals. We and have Crock Pot Friday. Our own side trips. Mm -hmm. And um, we are very, very excited. So freaking pumped. So uh, it's just one of those things that. Um, it's just a relax and um, mm -hmm. goof around. Stitchy weekend. Stitchy weekend. We're so excited. Yes. We will be back on Sunday, and we don't know what time, so yeah. uh, please understand that next week's video will we'll be, be late. late. We'll be late. Uh, we come home um, for literally two days. Mm -hmm. We come home to make you a video. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and but then, seriously, and then we leave for Midwest. Right. So um, this is a busy month for us. We're looking forward to a lot of great networking with other stitchers and and making mems. You know, making mems. And um, <laughs> I love when you say it. And uh, <sighs> a lot of good eating and a lot of good talking and laughing and yes, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be grand. So. Anyway, um, that's pretty much going to do it. It's going to do it. Yes, Thanks for stopping in. We really do appreciate. Uh, I'm going to tell you what. There are floss tubes popping up like. Left and right like people. Daisies. Anyway, um, it's just amazing that everybody wants to be a part of this community. Mm -hmm. We welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. We have been watching other new channels. We will be catching up with some shout outs soon mm -hmm. they've already a lot of them have been shouted out on other channels but um anyway uh keep stitching make time to stitch yeah um happy holidays everybody everybody's yes. getting into the swing of it the cooler weather is finally here in our area thank goodness and we will be doing a halloween Yes. Tour de wall. If yes. you've paid attention, you know that we've changed yes. everything out. When we get back when from we come back. Yeah. So at the end of the month around Halloween right. time, yeah. we will post our tour de wall. Tour de wall and, and our tour de tree. Tour de Whatever. Tour de tree. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's about it, right? That is it. Anything we've forgotten? Nope. Okay. So. And if we forgot it, I'm sure somebody out there will tell us. Yeah, probably. Uh, we love <laughs> all of you. And we'll see you in a week or so yeah. after Whistle Stop. Until then, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.